Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa and I'm a product director based in Melbourne, Australia. In this channel, we will explore strategies and tools that will help inspire us growing in our product career. So in today's video, I'm gonna share some of my four key insights from the book called Continuous Discovery Habits by Teresa Torres. I'm gonna go through what does this process look like? How do you incorporate this discovery process into your daily rhythm? What are the six mindset that you will learn from using this framework? And how do you build a discovery culture within your organization or your team? If you're new to product management, the product discovery is part of the product development life cycle where we try to identify opportunities and problems and find different solutions to address them. So before we start, a little bit about Teresa Torres. She's a product discovery coach, a consultant, a speaker for a lot of her great work within the product management space. She has been in the industry for about over 15 years, working with a variety of companies, closely with product managers, designers, software engineers, around how do they optimize their discovery process. So let's jump into the first key insight. What does this process look like? Teresa uses a framework called the Opportunity Solution Tree. And this has three core levels. The first one is the outcome. The second one are opportunities. The third one are solutions. The outcome is really about the business outcome. What is the value that you're gonna add for the business? Therefore, serving the customers in the long run. So you may wish to target things like increased conversion rate. You want customers to buy more on your platform. Increased retention rate. You want those customers who made the first purchase to come back for their second, third, or fourth purchase. Or you may want just to simply increase engagement rate, which means you want the customer to use your product a lot more often. Now in the book, the outcome is really about working with product leaders and the team together to actually build what is the actual driver behind the business outcome and what are the context around it as well. Level two are opportunities. These are opportunities identified in order for you to address that one single business outcome. By going through customer interviews and customer research, you'll be able to draw out the customer pain points and problems and grouping them into different types of opportunities. Now these opportunities can also be broken down into sub opportunities. This will help the team to focus on smaller bites of discovery, but still keeping in mind of the bigger picture. And the third one are of course solutions. How are we gonna solve these opportunities? What are the different ideas that we have that are usable, feasible, addresses the customer problem, and also addresses the desired outcome? Each opportunity can have multiple different solutions underneath them. And in the book, Teresa really encourages you to leverage prototyping and experimentation in order to rapidly understand, test and learn to get to the best fit solution as quickly as possible. So why is this framework so effective? Teresa talks about how this resolves the tension between the business need and the customer need, as a tree has a hierarchy starting from the top with the business outcome and therefore aligns to customer opportunities below it. Build and maintaining a shared understanding on how these opportunities drive to the desired outcome. Now this is through the team actually conducting the interview and mapping out these opportunities together. Adopt a continuous mindset. Now this opportunity tree will continue to evolve over time as we speak to more customers and the opportunities could potentially change and therefore some of those different solutions will be developed as well. Unlock better decision making. The team can actually size up these opportunities and look at the customer factor such as how important is this to the customer? The market factor, how would this impact our business in the competitive landscape? The business factor, how would this position to our business strategy? Unlock faster learning cycles. By talking to your customer a lot regularly, you are able to validate their needs and the opportunities a lot earlier in the process. The confidence in what you're doing next. Because you've mapped out the opportunity solution tree, you can actually see where you directionally, where you'll be going next and what's the next thing you wanna tackle or the ideas you wanna generate. And lastly, unlock simple stakeholder management. You can actually take your stakeholders through the opportunity solution tree and keeping them very customer centric focus when it comes to discussions rather than talking about solutions. So how do we build this continuous discovery with them into our model? Teresa talks about the ability to build in that agility mindset into your discovery process by introducing two week sprints, regularly talking to your customers by setting up a weekly cadence with your customers and helping to validate the opportunities or even finding out new opportunities, leveraging prototyping and running product experiment in order to evaluate your solutions and potentially get early signals of your opportunity validation. The next key takeaway are the six mindset you adopt through using this framework. The first one is being outcome focused. This is really about shifting your mindset from output, which is shipping codes and shipping features into more defining the success and what is gonna create the value for the customer and the business. 
customer-centric, putting our customer in the center of the world, learning how to elevate our customer's needs at the same as the business needs, and also focusing on the value that it's going to drive for the business and the customer. Collaboration, embracing that cross-functional, what Teresa calls it, the trio, which is the product manager, the designer, and the engineer. Visual, the book encourages you to draw out and externalize your thinking. Experimentation, the book encourages you to think like a scientist, identify assumptions, and gather evidence. This will help you to get early validation without building straight into the product. And lastly, continuous, moving away from that project mindset to a more of a continuous mindset. Rather than doing discovery before doing delivery, this book will help you build the habit and that momentum into doing discovery and delivery at the same time. And finally, how do you bring this continuous discovery culture into your organization or your team? Start by building out that trio, the product manager, the designer, and the engineer. Using that trio to help you build out the opportunity solution tree so you have a shared common understanding and learning of the process. Start by talking to customer a lot more regularly and bring your team and maybe your stakeholder along in the journey. Work backwards. Some companies will have stakeholders who will provide you with solutions rather than problems, and that's okay. Working backwards means starting to uncover what is the outcome that the business is trying to achieve and validate this through your customer interviews. Try to uncover the opportunity that this solution is trying to achieve as well, and working closely with your stakeholders in terms of building the story and how this solution would actually achieve the desired outcome. Use your retrospective to reflect and improve by meeting up with your trios regularly to reflect on your discovery process and continue to practice and improve. If you find this video helpful and inspiring, please click the like button and subscribe to this channel. Also, if you'd like to share some of your tips and takeaways from this book, please post in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.